Hey, I'm Todd with TRZ Motorsports. Uh, today we're going to talk to you a little bit about our rear end housings. Um, this one here, just like all of our housings, this is a, this is a chrome molly one, three and a half inch axle tubes. Uh, we do have an option for mild steel, which has three inch axle tubes. All of our housings come with this six hole lower control arm mount, uh, so you can adjust the lower control arm bar angle. Um, all of our housings come with the adjustable upper mount. This is an option right here. This one has five holes. Um, sometimes they only have three holes. It depends which option you choose. Either way, you get the adjustment. Uh, this housing here has our tubular back brace and our lower brace. This customer in particular, this housing is a little unique. Um, it's going to a chassis shop. They're going to be welding their own coilover brackets on. Well, it's our coilover brackets, but they don't know where they want it yet. So, you know, we send, we can send these loose in the, the chassis shop. The customer, they can weld these on wherever it is they want. Um, this housing is a floater deal. Uh, this is going in a customer. He just went uh, 418 last weekend on a 275. Uh, it's going to World Cup in a couple weeks here. Uh, hoping for mid to low sixes in the quarter, well over 200 mile an hour. Um, we do recommend the floater option for cars in the 420 or quicker range, mid sixes, somewhere around there. Um, they are a lot stronger. It's actually mandated by NHRA at a certain speed. So the benefit of a floater is the, the hub and the spindle take all the load of the car when you launch and during a run versus the axle and the bearing taking all the load. Um, results in a lot less deflection. I don't know if you've, if you've ever seen a fast, you know, bottom four second car that doesn't have a floater. If you ever see the back wheels. That's actually the axle out here flexing in that, you know, you got that two and a half inches or so that sticks out. That's uh, that's the axle flexing and moving around. Uh, with this, the all the weight gets put on this big spindle right here and the hub. So you take the axle out of the equation. This is a strange floater. So this is a big spindle right here. It's inside the housing, about 10 inches. Um, the benefit is... We can do these nice plug welds here, strengthens it up. Um, I don't have the axles on hand. Strange is gonna be shipping them direct to the customer. Um, these are gonna be some 40 spline, 300 M axles. Uh, should you break an axle, this all stays internal because the hub stays bolted on. You don't have to worry about anything happening or the wheel doing this. I mean, you're, you're gonna have nine inch heads with caliper brackets anyway. That keeps the wheel on, but if you ever see a car break its axle, the wheel starts twisting around. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come off, but still it's not a good situation. Uh, so that's the benefit of this, kind of why it's mandated at higher speeds. All right, so we flipped this housing over just to show you some of the internal bracing that's done on these housings. Um, all the housings have these axle tube braces. Um, as you can see, there's a brace right there. The axle tube comes in out here. So you got some bracing, there's some internal bracing inside that um, just to strengthen it up on the sheet metal housings. Uh, they do come with the uh, center section studs, that's part of the kits. All the housings come with that. Um, on this with a floater deal, you can see some more of the plug welds for strength. So if you have any questions on housings, there's a few ways to get a hold of us. Uh, call us 407-933-7385. You can email us at sales at trzmotorsports.com. Send us a Facebook message, send us an Instagram message. There's multiple ways to get a hold of us. Um, on our website, we have a forms and tech section. It has the housing spec sheet. One of the main things involved with this is since all the housings are kind of custom, people want ends where they want. They want lower control arms in different spots. Um, we like to get that in writing. So there's a housing spec sheet on our website. If you could fill that out first, at least with all the main things that you know, just so we have it in writing. That's the first step in the process. Hope to hear from you. Thank you.